So in today's video, we're gonna talk about using AI for your YouTube channel, right? So the first thing you need to do for your YouTube channel and your new YouTube video is the idea, right? So this is a tool called vidIQ, right? And you can basically, you get some video ideas every day and they give a prediction on how high it is. So first thing you need to do is connect your YouTube channel and you also get some more information about your latest videos and all of the stuff, your monetization tracker. I'm still a long way away from being monetized but that's fine. So that's a good way to get ideas. There's also another tool called You Complete Me or something like that, and that can give you better things for search. So just type into Google YouTube Autocomplete, something like that, and you'll get the tool for that one. So there are two ways for getting ideas for your YouTube videos. I also have another video on my channel, which you can watch if you want more ideas about how to get ideas for your next videos but let's move on the next tool we have is called subscriber and that is great for writing your script so i think i left a link in the description and you get 10 percent off with that link so i'll show you how it works now this is a script i wrote for one of my other videos okay it goes through everything step by step right so you top you write your topic there and it's a compilation right that means it's the top five so there's the items that i put in and the audience that I'm looking for, right? Next up, we have framing. So these are different questions that you want to solve with your content, right? So I picked three questions that I wanted to answer, right? This next part is really, really cool. It's the research, right? So I added some videos and some blog posts that I wrote, and this will all be added into the script, right? So. You can use the search the web, you can add a link that you have, you can add another video that you see. So maybe there's a video that you like and you want to make a similar video, then you can add that in here and we'll help you with the script writing. Now you'll see in a second. So the title here, you can see it chooses some titles. This is the one I think I went for. And the thumbnail, okay, this could be a description that even you use or just an idea, right? First of all, it can give you the idea that you design yourself, or you can use this as a prompt in ChatGPT or whatever image generator you use for AI images. I'll make another video about that shortly. And let's move on. The hook is that part, right, where you try to capture people's attention. I'm not very good at this really so far, but that's something that I need to work on. And this can definitely help you think about your videos better. And that's kind of one of the main reasons I'm realizing that scripts are, are really important. And of course you have the actual script itself is written by AI, okay? So it breaks it into different paragraphs, right? Different sections and writes the whole script for you. So if you don't really feel comfortable just talking on screen, then you can use this to give you a good script. So I use this in one of my recent videos and it's doing quite well for my channel. So I'm quite happy and I would definitely recommend it. I'm definitely gonna try and use this more and more. So the next step of the process is, of course, recording and editing the video, right? You can use this tool, v.io. I'll leave a link again in the description. And you can record a video with this, right? Just record it. I don't usually use this. I use a different software, but you can do that. Uh, and if you want to create a project and use all their AI tools, this is how you do it. So the cool thing about this is you can just resize this for social media if you want. You just change it to the size that you want, you know, the vertical videos like that, and you will get something like that. So super cool if you wanna do that. But we're here for the AI tools, right? So these are the magic AI tools you have. So we have auto subtitles. So if you wanna create the captions automatically for your video, you just click this button and it will automatically create all the subtitles for you and add them on the screen. There's different uh, formats you can use, you know, different colors of text and styles and templates that you can also use. You can also use this clean audio feature if there's some weird noise happening in the background of your video. You can use this remove silences, right? So super, super time saving, right? If you have a lot of pauses and you say mms and ahs and all of that stuff, then it just cuts it out, right? The next one is the eye contact, okay? If you're reading the script from the last section, right? and you don't want to be like this all the time, reading from left to right, then you can use this so that it makes it look like you're looking at the camera at all time. Other features, right, green screen, depends on how complicated you wanna make your videos. You can also translate your voice into different languages, okay, and remove the mm's, as and bad takes, right? So 
Really, really helpful AI tool that can save you a lot, a lot of time. And the last step we have in creating our video is of course the YouTube thumbnail. Okay, so I use Canva for my thumbnails because it's just the best uh, platform generally in trying to design stuff. This is definitely not my speciality. It's probably the worst skill that I have, but it has lots of templates here that you can use to help you. So you can just add in a template, right? And delete the parts that you don't like. If you don't like this, then you just change it, right? So, and you can do add in a photo of yourself, right? Let's even make this thumbnail now, right? Uh, as we are doing the video, so all I need to do is get a picture of myself. So I have my picture of myself here. I can just add in here, make it bigger and delete the, the aspects that I want or that I don't want, right? You can see the, the text looks great here behind me. So you can change around your thumbnail like this. If your image is not that clear, you can also edit your image and upscale it, okay? Make it super, super clear. It's in this edit image and there's a magic studio. So there's just lots and lots of more features here that you can use to you know make your images better and really pop and shine so you can see my image is now much much clearer so so there's also a way you can use ai within canva it's called magic media right so you can just decide any kind of element that you want right and just describe it and it will create it for you so i just put in a robot there so i can just simply put the robot and click it and he goes into the side of my channel. I'm not really too happy with that. I probably won't put that in the final draft. Okay, so as you can see, it's quite easy just to click and get whatever creations you need and add them into your thumbnail. So that's how you can use AI to do the ideas, the script, the recording, the editing and the thumbnails, the titles. I'm not really a big fan of the titles they give you that AI is always unleash and unlock and something stupid like that. So. It's not, uh, not what I use AI for, but as you can see, nearly every part of the process can be improved with AI. So good luck with your YouTube channel. Subscribe for more AI marketing tips.